So in geography, we study issues. But what is an issue? Hmm. An issue is... <laughs> Introducing the Geographic Thinking Issue Analysis Framework! The Issue Analysis Framework is a useful tool when we read articles that have an issue in them. We start off by reading the title, looking at the images, and trying to understand what the topic is about. We read through the introduction and we start off by identifying what is the actual issue that is being discussed. A stakeholder is an individual that has some sort of stake or is impacted by the issue that is being discussed. So these can be meant, uh, names that are individually mentioned. They can be a group of people. They can be scientists or government officials. Essentially, anybody that is mentioned within the article can be considered a stakeholder. Now, what you do with that is you look, what do they say about the topic? How, what opinions do they have? what statements are around them and then you're looking at how are they actually connected to the issue they're being impacted by climate change are their houses at risk something of that nature so we're looking at how are they impacted in the next section we're talking about the spatial significance where is this actually taking place so we identify geographical locations, it might be a specific place, it might be a region, but we want to identify where it's taking place. In why care, we're talking about the significance of that. Spatial significance is where is it? The why care is why is this important? Is there any significance that you see beyond uh, what is mentioned? We look at patterns and trends. So pattern means how are things arranged on the Earth's surface, whereas a trend looks at how things change over time. Are there dates involved? When we talk about interrelationships, what we're talking about is how one phenomena impacts another. Are there specific interrelationships that are mentioned? As temperature rises, this is going to happen. As greenhouse gas emissions rise, that sort of thing is what we're looking for. In the perspective section, we're looking at what are the different points of view on these issues. Social, we're talking about the quality of life. How are the people that are living there being impacted? Political, how are governmental decisions impacting these decisions or going to be influenced by them? Economic is how is money influencing the decisions being made? Environmental, is the environment going to be impacted? So in the one column, you're looking at identifying what are the different perspectives that are being represented. In the second column, you're trying to look at the significance, the why care part. Sometimes when we look at articles, we don't have all the information we need to fully understand what's being given. In this section, we're looking at, is there something that would help us to better understand that issue? Here is where we want to come up with some sort of conclusion, what we believe about the issue, what sort of conclusions we might draw. Is there a solution that you think would be best suited for this topic? So you're going to want to explain what you can do here. Uh, come up with some sort of solution. How would you implement it? Some sort of long-lasting success. This is where you really get to dig deep and make some conclusions about this topic. In the final box, what you're looking at is, is there some sort of question that you have that could further your knowledge on this topic? Is there some sort of new investigation? This is where creative thinking, critical thinking all come together. As we continue in this course, you'll be looking at different issues that you'll need to investigate using the geographic thinking issue analysis framework.